be my demo dog. This is my lovely dog, Cabernet. And she is a foodie. She will do anything. So if you, um, she will help clean up. Come on, Cabs. Come on. I know, I know. There's more in my bag. There's more in my bag. Oh, hi, puppy. You're okay. You're okay. Hi, honey. You're doing good. Come on, let's go. Let's go. All right. You want some no. You don't need a whole lot of food, and as your dog becomes better trained, or rather, as your build, your communication with your dog gets better. Yep. He's actually one of my current students. He's a rescue, and he's learning all about the new world, so this is a great experience for him. All right, so I like to start my class now. Does anyone want a toy instead of food? I guess I should ask. Do you think he'll do it? Um, the Kiara's pen is full. He doesn't really do toys or food. Okay, he's a little aloof. That's okay. That's okay. So in this situation, when we have aloof dogs in class, my goal is not necessarily for the dog to be doing what I'm saying. I just want them focusing on you. So anything you can do to get them focused on you, even if it's a little, like, excuse me, hi, a little tap on the head, and then just hi, good boy. Giving them a little love. If they won't take food or treats, a little love goes a long way. All right, so we will warm okay, up. Okay, everybody, we're going to need some audience members here soon because we're going to have the but best But since we don't have any beds, we're going to start with a watch movement. Now, this so, is super easy. You can um, work on this when you're waiting for your, your Pop-Tart to pop out of the toaster oven. Come on over here, we're going to need audience. And we need some dogs for the best. And all this is, is you can use the dog's name. You can use... Watch, uh, look at me, uh, you can use apples division. for all I care, as long as the word that you um, will use regularly. So you want it to be, you're going to be remembering. And that so will all this is, is you're going to put your tree up so to your face and go Jeffrey watch. Evans and Kame, yes. And, Denise <laughs> and I want your pupils to hit so your Jeffrey pupils. Evans on Kame, I want a good stare. And then you can try with an air cookie, no cookie in your hand, and just go, watch me. That's okay. So now, he looks for two seconds. with dogs that maybe have just been adopted, they may not look you straight in the face because it's a little bit of a assertive move to stare you down. So all you want is just a little glance. I will take a glance at this one. Yeah, good boy. No. Good job. Watch. What? What? So then once they've got that, that you can distract them. Cabernet? Watch. Good. Because they'll catch on really quickly. And after a while, they'll just what? stare at you. What? 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 Good. So as soon as he looks at you, treat him. There you go. Perfect. Watch. Watch. Cabby, watch. Yes. Good job. So I tend to use the word yes as my reward marker. You can use a clicker, you can also use good. But I'd like you to think of a word that you will say, you'd be like, yes, so they know they did something right. It's a good boy. It's a good boy. All right, the next warm-up I like to try is the simple touch. Now, touch I like to think of as the tic-tac-toe of dog games. It's very simple. But it will keep them focused trip. on you if so they're in a stressful situation. Say, for instance, you're at the, the sitting moment. in the, uh, we'll the uh, lobby of the animal <laughs> hospital and the dog's kind of nervous. This is a way to get them to focus on you and focus on something else so they're not sitting there getting nervous. All you need to do is put your hand out your dog will sniff your finger. And then you want to say, make sure you mark it. Yes! And give a treat. Yes! Give a treat. What are we supposed to say? Just touch. Yes. Yes. Touch. Touch. And it's hard for the dog to get a toy for that. Touch. Good boy. Yes. We're gonna come by and distract you. No. Here, give that puppy a toy. Yeah. Go ahead and play with your puppy. Thank you. I don't keep your puppy focused on you. Touch. Touch. Bow. Bow. Touch. No. Bow. Touch. Good. And just like that, it doesn't have to be. It can almost be by accident. Just by accident. And then eventually, once your dog gets it, you can start lifting your hand up a little bit higher. So I will even use this command if Cabernet's off leash in a park and I need her to come to me. Instead of yelling come, I might yell Cabernet. Do touch. Tea and Maddie. Yeah, good girl. Good job. Very good. So now that we've done.
want something easy. They don't have to focus yeah. on you. They know you've got food. No, not they know you've got toys. Go there now. As long as they're a little bit focused on you, that's great. So the next thing we're going to work on, let me take out my cheat sheet because I don't remember. Okay. We're going to work on stay. So this is a tough one. And oftentimes when we train stay, we get really tense. We're like, stay, stay. And the dog's like, whoa, I don't think I want to stay because you're freaking me out. So I want you to be get relaxed. Shake it off. Get nice and relaxed right now. Also, I want you to envision your dog staying. And with any of these, I'd like you to envision the dog doing it before they do it. Here, thank you, Bucket. Oh, you got a bag. <laughs> Okay, so get nice and loose, get nice and loose. Now I want you to get your dog into a sit. Now, oh, let me give you my spiel on this. Stay means hold that position. So if they're sitting and they lay down, they've broken that stay. If they're laying down and doing a stay and they sit up, they've broken that stay. So I want them to stay in the same position they're in. If they break that position, you need to correct it within two seconds. If you don't correct it within two seconds, then they're not going to even know what you're talking about. By correcting it, I mean just putting them back in that position. Good job. Okay. And you may need to use a lure. You may need to get a treat on their nose or something and gently tilt them back into a sit. And then I want you to give them a nice big slap sign hand. And for Cabby, that also means high five, so she's giving me a little high five too. Stay. Jump, jump, jump. So you're going to start Ariel working a little bit Piper. of distance Piper, and a little bit of duration jump, before jump, we're going to throw jump. in any distractions. Because you need to be able to correct it in two seconds and you're on the other side of the room, you're going to not be able to do the Now if they break that stay, if they get up for any reason, I don't want you to get mad, I want you to get worried. The floor is lava. I want you to go, oh, no, 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 no. Oh my God, and as soon as they sit, you nice have a tiebreaker. Ah, no, no, no. We need audience participation to Stay. clap and judge. You can start with the dog. You can start with the dog. You can start with the dog. The hardest thing is going to be to walk behind you. Stay. Because we have to step away from the So, the names that we need are. No. Stay. 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 Okay, sit. Jeffrey and Denise, you sit. Time to clean your stay. Dog. Stay. All right. Yeah. So. Stay. 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 Now the dog stays a little bit easier than the sit, sit. stay because right. they're sit. It's hard. It takes longer for them to get up. Stay. Okay. Stay. 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 Come tell us what your dog's gonna do. Stay. 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 Now the most important part stay. of your stay command is the release word. Don't. Fun, wacky, and by this, I usually Jack use the words O oh, and K. The fun, wacky, I don't want to say it because she'll release, and I haven't that. asked her yet. All right. But Let's you can also use the do. word release, or that's enough, whatever you want. The it's point the of the release word is to let your dog know the yeah. stay is over. If you don't get a release word down, then they're not going to ever know when the release is over, and they're going to stay is over and they're just going to get up whenever they want to. So you got to give them a clear sign. Okay, that's good. Yeah, all right. Very nice. When you're ready, release your dog. Oh, uh, no, sit. All right, so. The next thing we're going to work on is loose leash walking. How many of you have trouble walking your dogs on leash? And Funny enough, the reason why your dog tends to pull okay, is yeah, one, because they have four legs and you have two. Second is because they have a really strong opposition to the which means when they pull forward and you pull back the other way, it just makes them pull forward even stronger. And third of all is that you're probably kind of boring on walks. The world is really intense. It really smells delicious. People want, dogs want to go and smell trees. And you're just standing there like this. And you're not doing much of anything. The dog's like, yeah, you're boring. So, I want you to be interesting for your dog, and with that, if you've got some treats left over, you're welcome to borrow a toy from me. I want you to get your dog focused on me, and we're going to actually do a little loose leash ring here, but first I'm going to give you a little bit of a, a demo with Cabernet here. Yes, good girl. So, you're, I'm not expecting all of this today, but what I'd like you guys to do is do get them in a get ready position. Get ready. By doing that, you lure them over to your side, they do a sit very neat. Now when I train a heel, I'm not training a very strong military heel. Generally you're going to have your dog on your left, your gun on your right. 
You can walk them on either side, I don't care. Actually, when you're hiking, uh, people prefer you to walk your dog on the left, so if somebody's passing you on the trail, you're in between your dog and their bicycle or them or their dog, whatever. Um, so keep it keep it interesting for the dog. So you want to get him to get ready, and that way she knows we're about to get ready and start walking. All right, get ready, good girl. Okay, we're gonna go. That's good. So I'm gonna talk to her the whole time. I'm gonna give her treats once in a while. Very nice, good job, Cabernet. Very nice. You're so smart. Now I'm gonna cut her off because she's getting a little ahead of me. Just cut her off. Good job. Or I might give her her heel word as a warning. Puss. Good. Just before I abruptly turn around. Now, I'm not giving her an opportunity to think about it. I'm just going, Puss. Boom, good girl. Good job. And then we'll maybe work on our sit. KJ. Oh, Sorry. Good job. Good job. And then we might do it down. Very nice. So this will keep her busy on walk. And see, I still work with her. I still keep her busy. The other thing on walks, okay, let's go. The other thing on walks too is work on a quick, quick, slow. So I'm going to yell out to you quick, quick, slow. What I mean is quick, 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 slow, slow. Quick, 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 slow, slow. Good job. So it keeps me interesting, right? And then also I want you to practice your calm. So we're going to do calm. Good job. Very good. And the great thing is that she has to because I can reel her in like a fish if she doesn't. Hey. Yes. So I'm going to have us all line up in a circle. Maybe just push back along the walls here. And didn't have up here. Give yourself room. I don't want any butt sniffing. So give everybody a little room in front of you. If you've got to pass the person in front of you, that's okay. Um, and I want you to start talking to your dog. And I'm going to stand here in the middle by Amanda here. And... Uh, I will yell out instructions, okay? okay? And one of those instructions will be sit, they'll be down, they'll be come, which will call your dog to you, and then the quick, quick, slow, okay? Are you ready? Yeah. All right. All right, we'll start walking. We need Taylor with Tony Nelson and Dita with Tony Nelson. We need Atticus with Okay, sit your dog. So, Taylor, Dita. Good. Sit, give her a treat. Give her that toy. Give her that toy. She's sitting. There you go. Very nice. Good job. Okay. What is the Tona with Kristen Dowdy and Josie with Kate. Thank you. Good job. Okay, and down your dog. That's okay, you can sit your dog if they don't know down. Or you can just do a watch. Give him a nice clear hand signal. You might know it like this. You can also give him a gentle little tilt. Uh, Piper with Erica R1. And Josie with Kate. That's it, good job. All right. So, you ready? All right, Very audience. nice. Look at all these ready downs. All right. And ask your dog to get into a get ready position. See if you can lure them to your side. Good. All right, let's walk your dogs. Very nice. Alright, let's do a little quick, quick, slow! Quick, 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 slow! Slow, good job! Good! Alright, and quick, 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 quick! Come on! Okay, and slow! I love it, Andy's little jog. Good job! Old man Andy. Oh, Andy. Andy's, Andy's going to pee on the ball. ball. Good. All right. Now I'd like you to go to the end of your leash and call your dog to you. Good job. Excellent work. You can reel him in. I wouldn't even give him that much room. Reel him in just like a fish. I want you to say it once and reel him in. There you go. Good job. Good job, Lou. Good job, Lou. All right, one more round, one more round, and then we're going to work on our recall, which is fun. 
I'm gonna steal your dogs from you. All right, let's start walking. Start walking. You have three minutes left recording. Okay. Get what we can. All right, and sit your dog. And wherever you are, make sure to reward your dog. Sit. Sit. Yeah, he's like, I'll take that toy. Good job. All right. So the next thing we're going to talk about is the recall word. Now this word is the most important thing you're going to ever train your dog to do. It is like your emergency word. This is you say this word, your dog comes running to you. And why do they come running to you? Because every time you say it, the dog gets a 10 second party. I want you throwing treats, cuddling your dog, giving them toys to play with. I want them to be super excited. They hear this word and a 10 second party is about to happen. Minimum. You're gonna, we're gonna start this by, I'm gonna put your dog on a long line here and I'm gonna distract your dog and then you're gonna call your dog to you. When they get to you, I want you to give them a 10 second party. I'm gonna need everybody here to help me count to 10 because I'm losing my voice. And then once the dog comes to you, the 10 second party's Aww. over, you can leave or you can stay, you can do whatever you like. Okay, um, also, I like to word, use the word heel, close, uh, on delay, hurry up, Aww. anything that you want to say that means come here right now. But it's not just come. Because when you say come and you're at home, right, you're like, oh, come. The dog comes and you're like, oh, good dog, right? You don't want to have to be throwing a 10 second party every hour of every day. So I want you to use a word that you will not say all the time, but when the dog hears, they know it's a tall special. dog dash. We need uh, so, Kaylee Melanie Murphy. Please take I Kaylee to the uh, tall dog dash. She may. Thank you. Come here. Come here. Sit. Sit. Cabby. Sit. Sit. Girl. Okay, we're getting ready for the next trick. It's going to be Jeffrey and Kame again. Gammas. Nope. At 6.30, I also do private lessons as well. 